crude oil WTI dropped below 88 levels went till towards 77.5 before retracing a little on the upside till 979 levels. We expected it to drop. We expected it, it to yield the second red candle and precisely it did the same. I hope you all profited there. At the same time, only worry point is the net gas which has also dropped along with oil. In fact, it has come down till 2.55 the next support levels because below that there is only one support left for uh, gas which is at around 2.48, 2.5. So what to expect today from oil and gas? Can we expect oil to continue with the drop and gas to bounce back or both are going to do in the same direction? Which position you should take? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Your every like, comment. Share and subscribe is a great inspiration motivation for me to deliver on time every time to the best of my abilities. I do read every comment. It so much inspires me to deliver to the best of my abilities. So do like, share, subscribe and comment. Do press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis. This is the first update for the day. The next update will be released before the US session. Watch that also. And yes, you can be part of my free telegram channel in order to get the live updates. With that, let's start first oil followed with gas. Watch till the Let's start first look at the daily chart. See drop here retracement and drop lower lows are done it appears but yes there is another support for uh, oil which is at around 77 which I will look forward to that potentially we may see 77 levels at least for one 77 76 is a great support zone for oil here. I will come back to the daily charts but have a look at it here we will have a glimpse here. Now see this is the channel in which oil is trading. If it continues to stay below 78, there is a higher probability for it to achieve this zone. Now let's have a look, start uh, the analysis from the minor time frames. I will come to the daily charts later. But look at the hourly charts, see drop, sideways bearish or consolidation, then the drop and then the retracement. Now see it has shown, though it has shown a good recovery, but at the same time we can note that it is still trading in this bearish channel. The top of this channel is somewhere here at around 79.3, 79.6 zone. This is going to be a great resistance. See that was the support zone earlier. Now it is going to be the resistance here. Also now if you look at the early chart, see the drop here, it plunged outside Bollinger Bands, it has converged and now Bollinger Bands are looking almost, you can say stabilizing here. So that is what we can see one good rise, again retracement, higher lows. So this is important. And hence that is why I say it has to breach below this zone in order to confirm the bearish trend. Now that is uh, where 78.2 levels will come into picture and hence you can initiate a sell entry at 78.2 levels today and possibly expect it to again hit 77.577 levels also. This is one probability. Now on the early charts you can find out it is yielding higher lows here. So can we expect it to yield higher highs as well? and try to retrace till 79.5 that is something which we should look i will recommend you to buy here at 78.8 levels which is going to be a good resistance beyond 78.8 at least till 79.5 79.6 put a 20 cents trailing stop loss which means there are resistance at 79 79.2 79.4 79.6 levels hence if you are taking a buy position at 78.2 trade with caution it is not yet bullish possibly achieving the little highs it can again continue with the drop but let's not miss this opportunity buy at 78.2 but before that see stochastic rising here MACD is bearish it is already at bottom it can possibly converge crossover for a buy entry RSI is flat coming to 2 hours Similar observation on the 2 hour charts, price is little divergent from the 20 period moving average. Also remember it is forming double bottom, just ignore this candle but almost double bottom levels and hence it can try to recover a little possibly for 79 and 79.2 zone. A stock as has dropped, MACD is bearish now see MACD has completed its wave and also if you see it recovering from this zone crossing over remember it is again trying to create a bullish channel which means higher highs which means further bullishness in the near future. RSI is flat coming to the 3 hour chart. Now look at 3 hour charts. Likewise on the 3 hour chart, see this is the bearish channel. The bottom here at 77.76, the top here at somewhere 81 levels. Now if you look closely here, what you will observe, higher lows are seen, higher highs. So this is after the drop, it is trying to consolidate or retrace a little. 20 period moving average sitting at around 79.4, 79.5 levels. And hence, uh, when you see next candle here, on the 3 hour chart staying above 17, uh, 78.8 or in fact 78.7 levels you can buy here and expect 79.2 79.5 levels as a great great resistance. 
स्टॉक आइस्टिक फ्लैट मैगनीज बियरिश आर एस आई फ्लैट ट्राइंग टू राइज कमिंग टू फोर सिमिलर ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑन द फोर आर चार्स वन ग्रीन कैंडल सी दिस ग्रीन कैंडल इज आफ्टर अ शार्प टॉप रिमेंबर दिस फैक्ट देन रिट्रेसमेंट एंड इफ दिस टाइम इल्स अ ग्रीनर कैंडल इट कैन अगेन ट्राई टू अटेम्प्ट एन अचीव सेवेंटी स्टॉक आइस्टिक फ्लैट मैगनीज स्टिल बेरिश आर एस आई इज ऑल्सो फ्लैट हेयर कमिंग टू द नाउ लुक एट द डेली चार्ट सी द डे इज जस्ट स्टार्टेड इट इज ट्रेडिंग इन दिस बेरिश चैनल ओपन ऑलमोस्ट फ्लैट द टॉप ऑफ दिस चैनल अगेन एट अराउंड सेवेंटी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव सेवेंटी नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स जोन एंड रिमेंबर द प्रिसीडिंग कैंडल हैज लेफ्ट अ लिटिल टेल ऑन द डाउन साइड एंड दिस वॉज कमिंग विद अ फ्लैट हेड विच सजेस्ट दैट अनलेस एंड अंटिल यू सी ऑयल अबो एटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डू नॉट ट्रीट दिस इज बुलिश और डू नॉट एक्सपेक्ट इट ए रिवर्सल इफ इट स्टेज बिलो एटी डॉलर लेवल्स एट द सेम टाइम रिमेंबर इट कुड ट्राई टू राइज अ लिटिल एंड देन शो अ पुल बैक पॉसिबली इधर अचीविंग डबल बॉटम और मे बी अचीविंग लोअर लोज ही सो सी द स्टॉक आइस्टिक इज ड्रॉप मैगडी इज डाइवर्जेंट एंड बेरिश मैगडी इज शार्पली डाइवर्जेंट इट इज सीन अ गुड प्लंज हेयर आई विल वेट टू सी हाउ इट बिहेव एट अराउंड दीज लेवल्स इन नेक्स्ट कपल ऑफ डेज आर एस आई हेज ड्रॉप सो कंसिडरिंग दिस सी आई विल रिकमेंड यू टू बाय टूडे ऑयल एट सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट be alert till 79.5 79.6 zone and ultimately 80 levels if these two levels are breached then you can consider oil for a reversal and we can see it flying for 81 on the downside i'll recommend you to sell at 78 and the remember the clause there is 78.5 first resistance and then 78 sorry 78.77.5 uh, is the first resistance and set below that 77 now 77 is a very very good support and then 76 so these two levels 76 77 we have always been discussed we have always talked about this and hence which makes these levels a very very strong support level so be cautious and alert if you see it dropping for 77 76 we can also initiate a buying entry possibly it may try to bounce back from those levels and hence take your positions accordingly trade with a stop loss trade the trading stop loss now let's have a look at natural gas and before we proceed if you want to learn this art of trading you should join my mentorship by the 20 Fifth batch is going to start on first week of September. Only limited sheets are available. Reach out to me for more details. My Telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Now let's have a look at natural gas. Now the point here is net gas is giving higher highs and higher lows. So, ah, uh, this makes this zone as critical for net gas at 2.5, 2.55. Somewhere here should be the bottom for gas. But right now it is not showing any signs of reversal. However, the day is just started. I will observe how it behaves today at around 2.55, 2.5 zone. A possible recovery can be seen here. But let's observe more. I will come back to the daily charts towards the end. First, let's have a look at the other time frames. On the hourly charts, if you now look at hourly charts, see 2.56. It has created the support. Now it has tried to breach further till 2.55. Now 2.55 is also a good number. We have discussed this earlier that to below 2.6, 2.55 is the next support which it will try to take. Now look at the formation on the hourly charts, the drop, retracement, and now trying to create a wave. And also now remember. prices are divergent from the 20 mo period moving average which makes a possibility for it to achieve the highs again so yes any any time you if you see it is take about 2.58 you can buy now remember 2.6 2.6 to 65 zone now 65 is the ultimate resistance for net gas on the upside once you see it is staying about 2.6 so that is the time when the bulls will try to take the control see stock elastic has dropped here macd is bearish it can possibly converge crossover for buy rsi is at bottom coming to two hour charts look at two hour charts consistent two red candles and see after a flat top which suggests that there is a possibility of a third candle as well however downside appears to be limited we are seeing the uh, britishness get, uh, you can bearishness getting diminished here compared to what we have seen here now look at the stock as if this is oversold macd is bearish and rsi is already sitting at bottom coming to three similar observation on the three hour chart see precisely next uh, see this candle where it closes is going to be of prime importance and next candle once you see it is staying above uh, in fact 2.57 2.58 levels any point of time you can buy it around these levels and expect it to rise how far it can rise now see this is the zone which it needs to pass by 2.6465 levels and uh, above 2.5758 every uh, you can say 2 pips or 20 pips you can find out a great resistance here at 2. 6 2.62 and in fact for the levels you can find out the next resistance at 2.65 so at least as long as 2.65 is defied 2.65 is defended you should be careful you should be watchful it can reverse again above 2.65 is where the bulls will take over 
Stock IST is oversold, calls for a recovery. MACD is bearish, RSI is also oversold. Coming to 4, likewise on the 4 hour charts, lower highs, lower lows, wait for it to break past 2.57 itself and then expect it to rise for 2.586. See, in fact, the prices are so much divergent from the moving average, either it has to consolidate or wait for it to move upwards. Stock I seek oversold, MACD extremely divergent bearish, RSI oversold. Coming to the daily chart, see one point we have, uh, I have mentioned several times that any point of time you can buy here at 2.5, 2.55 zone. Now this zone has come, I will still expect it to bounce back, I will still expect it to rise from here. See, only and only if, uh, I will be getting bearish on net, uh, net gas, only and only if it stays below 2.5, 2.48 zone. As long as 2.5, 2.4 it is respected, I will still not be expecting it to trade bearish now look what has happened here one drop consolidation and couple of red candles a reversal confirmation is here on the daily charts at around 2.75 levels and on the minor time frames we have seen that any move about 2.65 is going to be a good indication that we are looking forward to a reversal see daily stock stick is extremely oversold macd is extremely bearish and rsi is left considering this i will recommend you to buy here at 2.5758 levels any point of time you can buy here at 2.5758 Expect it to rise for 2.6265 levels and uh, 65 is going to be a hurdle which it needs to break pass by in order to confirm a reversal. Beyond that, I'll be looking forward to 2.7, 2.76. Now, 2.76 which was the resistance earlier, it is going to be the resistance now all again. We have to watch out at around those levels if it continues with the rise today. On the downside, I will recommend you to sell here at 2.54. But with a very strong rider that uh, I will still not be treating bearish unless and until net gas stays below 2.48 levels. And hence, if you are taking a sell entry at 2.54, you have to be cautious alert for 2.4, at least till 2.48 levels. So take your positions accordingly, trade accordingly, trade profitably, like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship badge, join my signal channel, reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.